everybody and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you everything i've ever colored since i started coloring up until the point of september 2021 um so i have done several videos like this before so this is an updated version so there'll be pictures that i've colored this year that will be in the book uh, in the book in the video um i am filming this downstairs in my living room so this is my coffee table and my cats are both are down with me one of them's just sitting beautifully on the sofa the other one is walking around so we will see <laughs> how it goes they might both jump up on the table at any time sometimes they do this they also may not anyway um i'm not going to talk into um great detail on the pictures i'm just going to show you the book as in like you know the cover of the book tell you who the artist is if i know because there are some i don't know who who the artist is and then show you my pictures and I may talk a little bit in detail with some of the ones that I find my faves just because I don't want this to be like a million parts and a ridiculously long video so I'm going to just do it in the order that they are in my bookshelf because it's just easier <laughs> so I'm going to show you um Forest Girl so this is the Korean edition by April and I think I may have done three in this one I could have done I could be wrong um so this is the latest one that I did and actually I think I did it in July um so I very much enjoyed doing that one I do tend to try and use this uh picture here to help me so I used quite a few various mediums and things on that one um and then I've done this is the first picture I did in this book and I really enjoyed doing this one in fact I think this is like my favorite forest girl picture I've actually done in any of the books so far and I um I can tell you who I use for this one. I use the Caran d'Ache Super Colour Soft, but the 30th Anniversary Edition. Just those ones. And then I have one more. And it's this one that I think I did at the beginning of the springtime. And I think I did that this year as well. So there's a few extra ones in there. So next I have Forest Girl 2. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I've gotten around to colouring anything new in this one. So it'll just be what I have already done. Again, this is the Korean edition, also by April. My plan is to, at some point, <laughs> try and do another one. So here is one here. I think this may have been the first picture I did. And I think I use watercolour paints mostly for this. Um, so there's that one. And should have another one here we go here's the other one that i have and again i use watercolor pencils um for this one and uh, maybe with a little bit of ran normal pencil as well perhaps i can't really remember i currently have a cat behind me so hopefully they won't <laughs> dig their claws because apollo was trying to play with my hair whilst he was on my lap and it wasn't fun i think that's everything for forest girl 2 yeah it's just two pictures in that one um, next I have Forest Girl 3, now I've only done one picture in this because it's my latest one of her Forest Girl books. This is the Japanese edition and actually I think the paper's better in the Japanese edition than the Korean. That's if the Korean is exactly the same as the first one, as in the first book, the paper in that is okay. But I feel like the paper in this is better, but I have no idea because the paper may have changed in the Korean edition, who knows. Um, so I have just done one picture in this, and it is this one. And I use colour pencils and a bit of all colour for the background. And again, you can see I try to take inspiration from the picture on the other side. So I did enjoy doing that one. That was quite fun. Quite a simple, easy one to do as well, actually. And some of hers are quite complicated. Right, so next I have the colouring book of Flowers and Sweet Girls. This is a Chinese book. I think it might be by Dana Mao. I could be wrong. I'm not really sure. Um, so what did you do? I've done three and it'll be nice and easy to show you because I have just done them in order so far. So there's this girl and again I use some watercolour pencils and normal pencils. I think I use polychromos. I use some Albert Joyce. And then I've got some metallic paint that you can see in the background, which is quite pretty. And then I have this one. This one I don't really like as much. I think it's just all the pastels of all the... Like, I like her and I think her dress is fine. I think it's just the pastels of everything else. Just looks a bit weird. Um, So, not loving this one so much. And then this is the latest one, which I literally finished last month. Because it's been such a long time since I've come back to this book. I thought I should. 
and I very much enjoyed doing the chamomile dress in that one so that is all of that next I have some other Chinese books oh, unfortunately I haven't gotten around to covering these for quite some time um, I did have a look through to see there were any pictures I did want to do um but you know there was a couple that I thought oh yeah I might do this one but then you know you just end up finding other pictures another book so I will eventually come around to these one day um anyway this I think is the only picture I've done in this one so I used some gouache to do their kimono not sure I mean these are supposed to be Chinese but maybe they mix cultures slightly I don't know um anyway I love that I put stickles in the back <laughs> in the background for the Thing. and I actually really am very proud of this picture like I feel like my skin came out really well because I did this a few years ago I think when I started getting into gouache and things and yeah I just really was proud of myself of how this one came out and I really like how the dress came out as well because it you know I haven't wasn't like an expert using gouache and things and I felt that it came out very well I'm pretty sure I think this is the only picture I've done in this book yeah um, again, unfortunately, I don't know the titles <laughs> because these are in Chinese. I do not know the artists. I got this and the other two in a set on AliExpress. So if you go on AliExpress and type in Chinese coloring books, you can probably find these. I think I did see that they were selling them on Amazon as well now. So I think you can get them on there. So this is another one. I think I've done two pictures in this one. You know, KPA and I like to do a lot of body colours and I feel like because we're talking about doing another one. Maybe we should do one of one of Iggy's books because, yeah, I think this is the first ever picture I did in any in these three because they came together. And this was the first one I did because I like the fact that she looked like Sailor Moon, so I drew that bit in. So I think, again, I used, I think I used polychromos for this. So, yeah, and there's a little bit of stickles on the lotus and the flower. And I used some metallic paint for the background. And then I've got this one. Oh, I think I did this a few autumns ago because I thought it. Oh, this is like a Japanese um, Asa tree. So I thought that'd be quite cool to do that. And again, I used gouache for her robe and it, I think it came out really nice. And then I just did sort of like a metallic -y background, a little bit of gel pen, some shiny paint, the metallic paint in there. So yeah, I very much enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, just two in that one. And then I think there's definitely at least one in this one. Um, there could be two, but I think it's just one. We will see. And yes, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why didn't she tag her pages? Because I can't be bothered to do that. <laughs> That's why. So I'll just look through them instead. Um, so this was a body colour with KP. Um, so we did this ages ago. I think I even, yeah, I think this robe I used the, um, what's it called? Pencils. The Koei Noor ones, I think I used the Koei Noors for her. And I used some washi tape for her dress because KP did that quite a lot. And I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to do the same. Um, and it, it's really cool. I, I have got quite a bit of washi tape and haven't used it in a long time. So I should go back to trying to use it, actually. And again, some metallic paint, just watercolour, plain background, nothing exciting there. And I think that was the only one I've done in that one. Yeah, there we go. Just one in that one. This is what... Well, I felt like, so those are slightly neglected books there that I haven't gotten round to in quite some time. So next I have this Chinese book and I cannot remember the, what it is called now. It does have a name, it does have an artist, but unfortunately both are escaping me. Um, again, I got this on AliExpress. Now the paper's really thick in this book, like really thick. It's like watercolour type paint almost paint paper um i've done two in this one so this was the first one i did and again i use the um 30th anniversary 30th anniversary um super color soft edition pencils for this one and then i think the only other one i have in here was one i did for chinese new year i think i can see some paint here and it was like a double page spread so i used some watercolor paint and to do for the background or it could be gouache for the background hmm and then obviously just some pencils so I don't think it looks the most amazing I think the background was quite tricky and also this paper is very like toothy so actually I should try using some harder pencils I, I'm not sure what pencils I use for this probably Prismacolor but um 
yeah, like harder pencils would probably work on this paper, but it's quite toothy. So there's like, oh, there's just so many designs in this book. It's, an, it's insane. <laughs> so yeah, this is one I, sorry, I'm just showing you a little bit of the book. And a lot of people will be familiar with it, I'm sure. But yeah, there's there's an awful lot, <laughs> an awful lot of designs in that one. Um, but at least I've done two. Now next is a book that's very neglected. This is Hanbok one because I've done one picture and then I had started one and it went a bit wrong. And I think it's just because the pictures in this book are so beautiful. I am a bit like, I don't really want to ruin them. Um, but I do need to come back to it because, you know, it's just really pretty. So... Uh, okay, so this is the one I kind of felt like I ruined. I feel like I probably could now I have a bit better wall to colour. Because all that out, it's just this bit down here, so there's not much I can do about the bit I've already done. But maybe I, I mean it's only it's, I, I don't feel like you would like really pay attention to this bit. And I, I'm amazed at the fact that I chose a double page spread in this book to do as well. So because I tend to not really do a lot of double page spreads. So anyway, this is the one picture I'd finished. And I think I used the polychromos pencils and a bit of Neo Colour 2. And I did this ages and ages and ages ago. I wouldn't even colour my hair like this anymore. Would not colour black hair like that. <laughs> and yeah, it looks funny. I like how the uh, Herobe is done. I still think this, you know, considering how my colouring's changed today, I still think this actually pretty decent and uh, this is back when I didn't really know how to do skin amazingly well and I, st I think that's not too bad I think I knew like I followed like Sammy had helped me out and told me some colours and you know she's done quite a few skin videos I think that was probably me having watched one of her videos or something like that so that's why her skin isn't that bad actually and you'll see in some <laughs> earlier pictures how really not so good it was but you know you, you we're learning Things aren't always, um, you know, great. I like how the Neo colours came out on this one, actually. I kind of felt like they came out quite well. Okay, so those are some of my Asian books. I do have some more, but they're in a different section of my bookshelf. So I'm now going on to um, some Disney books. I think this is all of my Disney books I'm going to show you. There's a few smaller ones that actually aren't with these ones, but I'm going to put them in with the Disney ones because it's quite easy. And I do have some giant Disney books upstairs, so I don't know if I'm going to be showing them with all the Disney ones. <laughs> we'll see. I might go grab them and include them in this bit because that would be quite nice. So um, this is the first Disney book I actually got, Le Grand Classique Art Deco by Hatchet Heroes. First, first ever one. Um, the, I think I did finish one in here recently, actually, because, again, I haven't touched some of these now a lot of the Disney books quite neglected but I have such a large collection of Disney books that is primarily the reason is because I've tried to colour in some of you know a bit in all of them so that's why it looks as if I've not really done much because it'll be like oh I've done something in one of the others um then there's some I just genuinely haven't come back to for ages so I believe this was the first one I did in this book um it's Lady in a Tramp I used some pastels which I think maybe now I put fixative on Nope, I haven't. Should maybe go back and do that. <laughs> um, I don't know why I've not gone back and sprayed fixative on it, but yeah, there's no fixative on that one. Um, but I think that's before I had it. So yeah, the, uh, pr I think prism colours are probably used for this because this is back when I pretty much just had those. Um, so yeah, it's Lady in the Tramp. Still like it today. Still think it looks pretty good. So this is my latest one that I did, The Rescuers. I love The Rescuers. I think they're so cute. And I really love the idea of going over a lot of the patterns and gel pen in this book. So I've kind of done that on the little, well, whatever this border thing frame is. Um, and then I've used some watercolour and some Calero paint as well. And it's just so pretty and so shiny. I love it. So I think that's one of my favourite ones. But you can see the, the paint. <laughs> the paint did bleed through. So, so sad. I think with the, I think it's the liquid watercolour paint that I use. So I think with that, I have to be quite careful what books I use on because it does bleed through quite a lot. So there's this one of Pocahontas. Um, again, with my slightly earlier ones. This one I've done quite a long time ago. And again, you can see I've used a gel pen to outline a lot of the patterns. Um, yeah, that was quite fun. I love Pay Contest, so you'll see that I've done quite a few of her pictures, I think. And I think there is, yeah, there's one here. 
There may be another one. I'm just going to... Because last time I think I showed this book, I forgot that I had another one in it. And I accidentally didn't show it. So there's two more. There's this Mulan one that I did. So again, I used some metallic watercolour paint. Now the metallic watercolour paint I use, if any of you want to know, generally I use the Calero or the Fine Tech paint. There are the occasional time when I will have used the Ganzai Tambi Starry Colours because that was what I started out with originally. Um, because Fine Tech was, was quite expensive to start, like when I heard about it and they only had a few sets on Amazon, they were quite expensive. But since then, I mean they're still expensive, but I've managed to, I found I could get them from the actual, you know, Calero website um and just pay i think it was a few euros for each one so you know i would just sort of like every now and then buy a few and slowly but surely i've built my collection up um and jackson's art also sells them as well and probably where i'm going to get them from now on because uh now we're not in the eu i feel like if i get them from the clearer website it's going to cost me a lot of money in shipping and taxes so um i mean it might affect jackson's art uh, uh, jackson's art they may end up Selling them like more money, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, so there's that one. I did use some watercolor. Um, and then there is this jasmine one that I've done, and I did this one quite a long time ago. I think this is the one that I forgot to show, maybe the last time I did it. So yeah, I really like this one. Also, I really hope I said Jackson's art the first time and not Jackson's Galaxy because if I said Jackson's Galaxy it's because I've been watching Jackson Galaxy's videos on cats <laughs> and um, they're obviously similar names um, I just thought I may have said that without realising so to clear up it's Jackson's Art where you get the art supplies okay and then I have Le Grand Classique Art Deco Tomb 2 or Volume 2 I have not coloured anything new in here though I do want to come back to this one because there's a couple of pictures I'd like to actually do um so I have done this uh, oh, genie, I almost forgot his name then, genie, and again, I have used some gel pen on here. It, this was a very simple one. So I like the, like the fact that some of these pictures in this book, in these books are really simple. Now, potentially that is the only one I've done in here, but I may have done another one. Um, this is why I need to, I love how... I went back to the other book and didn't actually do the... Yeah, I think this is the only one. Oh, no, that's so sad. Uh, so I'm going to do a really quick, quick double check. Okay, right. I think I've decided I'm definitely doing some more. Um, I have to say it was quite tricky because I really kept wanting to go, right, I want to finish this picture for, from this book before I show you all. But then I thought I, I'm just going to keep forever going and doing that all the time so I just thought you know what I'm just gonna have to show you what I've done so um this is a Japanese Disney coloring book I don't know the title I think it may maybe Disney seasons just because it's got all the seasons in it um I got it from Amazon Japan yeah you can get it on Amazon Japan now I believe um, so I don't know who the artist is, I'm afraid, because it's all in Japanese. I, this book, surprisingly, I've done quite a few in, and uh, double page spreads. Most of this book is double page spreads. And for some reason, I just feel a pull towards doing pictures in this book. So actually, I think I might want to do that. I might do the Halloween picture uh, this year. So I've got this double page spread. This one I did this winter, and it's the Aristocats and... They obviously had wintry things, scarves and mittens, so I thought, why not do this one? Uh, it was quite fun. And actually, you would think, you know, this might take you a while, and it doesn't actually, if you use similar, you know, just a simple colour palette. It didn't take me too long to do it, actually. Um, also, I know it's kind of wallpapery, but for some reason I actually don't mind the wallpapery designs in this book, which is rather odd. And that's, they have really nice ones in here. Um... So some are from scenes from movies and then some are wintry ones. So I did this one last autumn as well. And again, I really enjoyed doing this one. I think I did this actually this time last September because I was like really into the autumn spirit. Then I am clinging on to summer still. <laughs> so I'm probably going to do more summer pictures. So I really, really do love how this one came out. I just like the colours. I just, I really, really like this picture. I especially love the bow and everything. So this is like one of my fave like Disney ones I've done. So yeah, I might I might do this one. This Halloween it's a very big, busy double page spread, but I'm I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'll try and do a little bit at a time. 
and then uh, do it over the course. Maybe I'll start it this month, actually. Um, and then this was the first picture I did. And I mostly remember using the Inktense pencils and Neo Color 2 just to do the sand and the sea and the sky. So it wouldn't take me ages on pencil. Um, but like all this bit is pencils at the leaves and house and things. And I think I used a mixture of pencils as well. So there's that one. And then I have this spring one. So you can see I've done one for all the seasons, spring, summer, autumn, winter. And I used, this was the first page I think I used Holbein's in, I think, when I got them. And there's a little bit I had to, I put in the sparkly trail, like Tinkerbell's been all around the flowers and she's got like a sparkly trail and I thought that was quite cool. Um, so I think that's everything in that book, but I, I will definitely be coming back to that one because I just love the pictures in it. Now I've got block buddies, I've done one picture and again, haven't done anything else since because I've just again just been busy doing other pictures you, you know I feel like I have to feel the pictures as much as I want to try and do some more books and things I think if I don't feel it then I'm just not gonna feel happy doing it so I did this Finding Nemo one and again it's just got quite you know pencil work in there I've got some pastel and some of the Calero paint and then some gel pen to outline the pattern there. So there's that one. Um, again, <laughs> I've got, uh, basically the next few books I've probably only done one or two in. Um, I've got the mosaics one and there's only one in this one. And it's Mickey Sor Sorcerer Mickey. There we go. Obviously he meant, he's meant to look like a mosaic. And again, I'll use a bit of paint and things. So there's that one. I've got and for me, now I've got two pictures in this one. Unfortunately, this book has like fallen apart though. So um, that's the only problem with these ones. I think maybe they are designed to be torn out though. I feel like they are. So I've done this one. This is my one I actually did earlier this year. So I did Jasmine and the Sultan, her who was our dad. I love how my lilies came out and I've used a bit of paint for the background and metallic paint as well. It's quite fun. And then I've got one more in here. I think it's a Herky. Oh, I can see it. I can see it is <laughs> Hercules and this was the first one I did um Hercules and his family in fact I can just lift it up because it's just fallen out um yep yeah, so I liked I wanted him to look like he was a figure on one of those clay pot thingies so I did that but yeah I enjoyed doing that I really like the pictures in this book I just I again it's just having the time and feeling the need to want to do it and I think as well sometimes the choice and choosing a picture you're it's a bit overwhelming when you have so many books as well right so I've got Disney silhouette so this one I've done quite a few in this one purely because they're quite simple and it's just when I want to do a bit of mindless type coloring and I don't really have to think too much about what I want to do because sometimes I like to do that sort of thing um I do some of these and again <laughs> you can see that it's like falling out so this is uh Mer Merida from Brave and it does annoy me that the paint looks a bit streaky at angles and yes that bit just fell out but I'll sort it out in a minute so again it's just very simple pencil type thing you know I do a bit of shading here and there but some stickles in it and they all, I like doing all the silhouettes and metallic paint so I have her I really wanted to do the Winnie the Pooh one the other day because I, I did one literally like a week ago in this book um oh oh there we go actually this is oh no there's another one before then so i did this one from inside out it is joy so a joy i love the movie inside out i think it's really funny um so again a metallic paint some stickles not a lot of stickles a lot of gel pen a lot of metallic paint basically and yeah i had a lot of fun doing this one it was really good right and now i can show you the one that i literally finished like not that long ago. I managed to get the metallic paint to look a bit better in this one, on the silhouette. So it's Robin Hood and yeah, it was quite fun. Just again, a basic kind of thing, gel pen, metallic paint. I didn't put any stickles on this one. And then the last one is Hercules because, okay, can you sense the theme? I happen to love Hercules. So I've tend to have done quite a few of the Hercules ones. So again, this was the first one I did in here as well, actually. So he's got a nice metallic paint and um 
yeah there's i don't think oh yeah there are stickles as well as i've got stickles on so hopefully they look all beautiful and it looks all shiny i feel like i have to put it in certain light otherwise it looks very streaky right and i need to remember to get the thingy um and okay then i've got disney portraits i feel bad because again this is a book that i have not come back to and i feel ashamed that i haven't done any more in this and i really wish like you know i feel like i really wanted to have done some more in this one but you know it is what it is just haven't got time so i've done basil the great from the great mouse detective done him and i've done the genie and there he is with and he's got some nice shiny paint and oh guess what gel pen over the pattern so I really like him. I love how he came out, actually. I'm oh, sorry, I've just done uh, the page. But yeah, there's so many. Oh, look, look how cute. There's just so many in here that I would uh, like to do. So one day I will come back. So I'm going to go grab some more books. I'll be yeah, back in a minute. I'm back with some more books. Um, you might be able to hear Athena purring maybe in the background. Too, though. Both of them are sleeping. So I picked a good time. Um, so I have Portraits, Tomb 2 or Volume 2. And... Again, not done any more in this, and I have only done one. There's Dante, I believe. From ah, there he is, right at the beginning. Dante from Coco because um I do love that movie and he's really cute. So I did like a glow around the marigold, which I quite enjoyed. So there is that one from this book. Um I'll pop that back down there. Okay, next I have the a B C D Air. Uh, Hatch of Heroes again. This one seems to have fallen out. Oh no, look, I managed to open it on the right bit. So I did this T for Tiana. Um, that's the only one I've done in there. Um, yeah, quite a lot of those are quite detailed. So I think that's what's put me off <laughs> doing them a little bit. Sorry, I'm just just seeing. Again, I've got these. Um, the next few are a couple of kid ones for, from Hatch of Heroes 2. Um, and I've only done one i haven't really i think it's just like feeling like doing them in here i think where is it oh yeah this one of rapunzel i like the fact that the backgrounds are done already so there's rapunzel in that one and again there's some like fine fine tech paint i believe on there make it nice and shiny um i've got a few maxi colo ones now this is the moana one or viana as it is in french i've just done one which is this one, which is stickle to the death because this is Tamatoa. He's the crab, that's his face. Um, he's the crab who loves collecting shiny things. So he has loads of treasure on his back. And I was like, I have to put just a ton of stickles in here. So I did. Um, so it's very, very stickly. And I'm just sorry, I'm enjoying seeing all the sparkle. Um, and I even put like sparkles, like these could maybe be glow worms or something perhaps um so yeah if i do the other side <laughs> i'm gonna have to probably do it in paint or something because it's gonna be a bit tricky to do with all the stickles it's gonna have a lot of uh texture but yeah i very much enjoy doing that that was a fun one um and then i've done one in the frozen or lorraine de neige the snow queen that is basically what that's translated as in from french to english um which is what the frozen is based on the snow queen which is the story by hans christian anderson it's not exactly the same it's just inspired <laughs> um so because the snow queen is not a nice person in the hans christian anderson story and that's basically who else there is um so yeah i've done this one and again it's got some sparkle on it so it's uh, just a fun one to do and then i've got this princess one um and i've just done this one of pocahontas because again like i said she's one of my faves and i tried to make it look like there were leaf like trail things hanging down from a tree like she sat under a tree that's kind of what i was trying to go with there uh, i've got a few more japanese ones for you now so there's this i have another book like this very neglected both of these i have only done one picture ever in any of them and a whip in the other one um, and it's a stained glass picture that I did with Samir Colour 2 and Prismacolor. And a little bit of one could settle up on the rose there. So, yeah, still the only picture I've done. Again, I think it's just like, I just don't think about doing pictures in some of these. Like, you forget that you kind of have them. 
or you know you just feel like actually you'd rather do some others so i have got the disney kaleidoscope book and all those japanese ones i show you you can get on amazon japan for, um sorry i need to i feel like i need to sneeze oh, okay it didn't you know when you feel like you're gonna sneeze and then you don't <laughs> That's what happened. But, you know, it feels bad because you wish you had sneezed. But then I wish I hadn't because I didn't want to do it on camera. Um, so I did this Halloween one and I stickled it to the death. So these are basically like mandala um, things, but they're kind of a bit like a kaleidoscope type thing, like what you would see in a kaleidoscope. So this is the latest one I've done, which I did like two months ago. I did Dumbo and again, stickles, because these are single sided, so it's quite easy to put stickles on them so i've got alice one of my fave ones that i've done in this one i love alice she looks really pretty um and then i've got jasmine another one i really enjoyed doing and again i just really much <laughs> if i can put stickles and things i really much enjoy it um so i think that's all i've done in that one then i have the second one disney kaleidoscope 2 Yes, yeah, so sorry, I was saying all the Japanese books, you, uh, Japanese Disney books you can get on Amazon Japan and the French ones you can get on Amazon UK, but also you can get them on Amazon France. I think a couple of the other Amazons, like the German one does them, maybe the Spanish one, I think. So, you know, there are a couple out there. I don't think the US does the French ones, though, I'm sorry. I have a feeling you have to get them off the UK one. Um, so again, I've done the Halloween one. I've obviously got stickles, there's some fine tech paint there. I think these were two new colours that I got as well that I decided to use. Um, I've seen there's a Zootopia one, I should do that. I like Zootopia. Um, I've, this is a recent one I did. Monsters Inc with Mike and Sully. Again, stickles. I'm going to get a gel pen. Um, and I think I pretty much just use Christmas colour for most of them that I've done. Uh, no, there is one more. I was thinking that was, I'd only done two, but then I remembered I'd done this Donald one. This was the first one I think I did in this book, was the Donald one. So he doesn't have stickles, he just has glitter gel pen instead. But yeah, they're, they're quite simple, but I enjoy doing them. Like, sometimes, you know, you just want something that isn't complicated, and those are non-complicated ones. Um, okay, so then I have the Thomas Kincaid book. Now, actually, I'm going to show you, but I haven't done anything in it. I've got this one too, but I've not actually coloured in this one, so... Um, I can't show it anything to you. I'm really sad. Um, I've still only done two pictures and actually I felt really inspired to do some more recently in here. So I'm hoping to come back soon. Um, I do really want to do one in the other book just because I need to. So I did the Snow White and the Seven Doors one. I think I mostly used Luminance and Prismacolor for this. And I was really, really proud of like how it came out. Um, I think Colin McKay is doing the double page version. I do have the big version of this as well, but um, I just have a whip in it and I haven't finished. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. And this is the first one I did, the Pinocchio, which was quite fun. So I think I was going to try to use watercolors and things for this, but it's a bit tricky because the paper's not really thick. So I did base a few things with watercolour, pencil, and I, I think I used a bit of Neocolour too, but I think I just got it off the, either I lightly put it on or I got it off the, um, you know, crayon itself. And then I've used like pencil and stuff to go over it. So yes, and I love spotting all the hidden Disney characters in, um, that are hidden in the paintings. Like, I don't think I've got any that I can show you that I can see. Sorry, I'm like digressing now. I'm trying not to too much. Oh yeah, well here's one. This is Beauty and the Beast and you've got uh, Jacques and I don't know what this little mouse is from Cinderella. So they're like in the paintings, but they're not in the movie. So it was quite, it was quite cool. I love that there's like little hidden characters for you to find. Um, so yeah, there's, oh, sorry, just knocked something. Um, and now these are my small Hatchet Heroes books. I've got this, small princess one which at the time I think when I bought it I didn't realize it was the size <laughs> and then I got it and I was like oh it's little because I was thinking it was really cheap I think it was like four pounds I thought wow four pounds I must get this and it's because it's half the size so it actually is a really good travel sized one so I've just done this um little mermaid one here um I think I did this one and like I did a color a lot of this one so you can join in if you wish so I haven't done any more on that one just that one 
Then I've got Disney portraits, which I haven't done any more in this one. I don't know if I showed it last year. I am going to do one this month in it, though. But and I was trying to see if I could get it done before I showed you. But I just thought I'm, I'm not going to have time. Actually, no, it's not this one. It's the Art Deco. So I have done a new picture in this book. Sorry. It's the other book that I want to do a picture in that I was trying to get done before. You know, so I've got sadness. Um, and then I think I've just got one more in this one because I don't think, I don't like the pictures in this book as much. I think there's a lot of black, thick black lines that I don't like. And I did this Prince Eric one, which literally took me like an hour and a half to do. <laughs> it really didn't take me any time. So I like them because they're quite quick. And this Art Deco one is my favourite of the two um, that are similar, I guess, in style. I mean, I've got another small book, but it's not. The same so i've done three in this one i've done ursula um and i really like using watercolor paint and then some uh metallic paint as well in these i find it's quite fun because i quite like the patterns and things you have in the background so there's maleficent and she of course had to have stickles on her green flames so that's her and then i think the last one i have is aurora aurora where is she here she is Here's Aurora, Sleeping Beauty, and I gave her the blue dress because in the movie at this point her dress was blue. It just gets changed to pink at the end, and it always annoys me that for the most part, if you were to get an Aurora or Sleeping Beauty dress, like as a kid, you know, the kid costume, it's always the pink one. She's always seen with the pink one. I now I think it's purely because a lot at the time there was a lot of Disney princesses that had those a Cinderella with the blue dress, so I think they were just trying to break it up a bit. But I prefer with the blue dress, dress and the pink. And then I have the Coco book and I still haven't really done one in this one which I did like two years ago when I was on holiday in Sweden I started this one and it's just Miguel and he's singing and I did quite a bit of gel pen and just felt it pen and stuff for the background so that was like quite a fun one to do but yeah um I haven't done any more in that one okay now I have the big big Disney books <laughs> which yes I did go up and get uh, I've got Disney V True this is the first one um, I have done quite a few in here. So this is one of the Disney books that I tend to not neglect so much and actually do pictures in every now and then. So um, it's quite big for me to flick, but I'm going to try. Now, I think they're mostly near the beginning. Most of these, I think. Oh, it must be because I haven't, unless I flicked past them. Okay, there's one. There's Winnie the Pooh. I really, really did enjoy doing that one. And I tend to just use watercolour pencils with this. So I'll either use the Super Colour Soft by Karen Dash or I'll use the... Der, not Derwent. Um, like Fabric Castell, Albert Durer. I had to think really hard. I think the first one I did, though, I did do in pencil. Some of it I did in pencil. So here's my Aurora one. I did take some inspiration for some others because quite a few others were doing it where they were doing her dress change and I like the idea because well Flora that I think it's Flora the um one up there she was uh you know she's zapping over the one so it kind of makes sense that she's changing her dress <laughs> a different shade so and then I've got this is the first one I did of Princess Atta from A Bug's Life because I love that movie as a child so the frame is watercolour paint and then everything else I think I did with Arteza pencils um yeah and I wish I had done it with watercolor I think it's when I did this frame I thought actually I think watercolor looks better um and I've got this little mermaid one I actually forgot I'd done this one I've got little mermaid and then I think I've just got one more which should be Cinderella and I very much enjoyed that one and now I really want to do <laughs> a picture from this book but I think I should do it from the second one because I've only done one in the second one and you will see um I have the tomb Disney V True Tomb 2, Volume 2, and I've only done one because this is the latest book. I think I got this earlier this year, and I've only done one. And because I did the first book picture I did in the other book was A Bug's Life, I felt that I had to do the same in this one. So I did Flick! <laughs> and look, I love him, he's so cute. I love Flick. Um, and I used some uh, fine tech paint for the little, I guess, frame whatever you call it um but yeah it was really fun i love doing this one i love like i love a bug's life i i I feel like it's not the best 
of the Disney Pixar movies. I mean, I, you know, the story's pretty good. I think it's good, but it's like what I grew up with watching as a child. And I think it was the first Pixar movie that I saw in the cinema because I didn't actually see the Toy Story. Um, and I didn't see Toy Story until quite late. Now, I can't remember if I watched Toy Story first before I watched The Bug's Life or if I watched The Bug's Life first, I don't know. But, you know, um, and this is another Disney Japanese one. My Japanese friend got this for me and I do think it is on the Amazon, Jap uh, the Amazon Japan. Um, I have only done two. I've done this one. She left me a note because she wanted me to do this one. Um, and I've left it there. So I did, this was the first one I did. It took me quite a while to get around to doing like a picture in this one. And I think it must be by the same people that did that other, the Disney Seasons book, that one that I like so much because the style's very similar. So I use quite a lot of different mediums in here. I feel like I wouldn't, like how I've coloured some of this, I wouldn't do so much now. And then I've only done one more, which I think is at the beginning. I did this Christmas one. There you go. Sorry, I'm just trying to make it so you can see it. I did this Christmas one of Mickey's Christmas Cow, which I haven't seen, I don't think. I think I've seen lots of pictures of it, but I've never actually seen it. Um, and yeah, there's that one. <sighs> All right, okay. And because um, I have, with my big books, I also keep Serene with them because they're too big to fit in my bookshelf. So I keep them upstairs in a different bookshelf. So um, I have actually now completed two pictures from this book, believe it or not. I felt inspired to do one because um, I don't always like... I like his artwork, um, so sorry that I didn't say who this was by, this is by Nicholas F. Chandrawinata, or he goes by Nicholas Filbert as well, which for me is a bit easier to say, but his, uh, unfortunately I can't say his last name very well, but Chan Chandrawinata, it's the best I can do, but hopefully it's close to what it's supposed to be. I, I've no, I don't think I've ever heard it pronounced like how it's supposed to be pronounced, so, you know, I just kind of have to use my best guess, um unfortunately but I do try to pronounce things how they should be pronounced it's a bit difficult when you don't actually know how it's supposed to be pronounced so yeah hopefully one day I can find out how it's actually supposed to be said anyway I did this one quite a long time ago I think I mostly used like maybe personal color I think and then I used some like fine tech paint mm -hmm. I, I left the background white because actually I feel like it looked quite nice having a white background and um, there's one whip that I still, to this day, seem to never want to go back to. <sighs> and I really feel like I need, should, because I don't feel like it would take too long to finish, you know, so. And, yeah, the page before this one. Um, her skin's very pale, so I may try to see if I can, like, brighten her skin up a little bit. So this is where, you know, I wasn't still trying to do good skin so yeah I've done I've just done I've done this bit but I feel like I could finish it off it's just like feeling the mood but I finally came to do this one because loads of people have done this one loads of people and I just was like I saw somebody had done it on Instagram recently and I was like you know what I'm just I'm gonna do it I know these pictures are huge but this one's not as like detailed so I was like I'm gonna do this one so I did it over a course of a few months um yeah, and I gave her blue hair, because she either seems to have blue hair or pink hair in quite a lot of people's versions. I decided to go for blue, and then I did, like, some clash contrasting colours and things. And, yeah, um, I talk a bit more about this in depth um, in my complete Pages videos, because I've recently done that one. And again, I thought the white looked better in the background. So, that is it for that bit. So, I think I'm gonna just show you a few more books and then I'll end it for this part so hopefully this should be just under okay, so these are gonna be the last few books I'm gonna show you and then this will be it for part one and there'll be a part two so um on to Jasmine Beckett Griffith so this is her first book I <laughs> just whacked one of the cats in the face they are fine don't worry I didn't hit them really hard uh but so I have done a few in this one because this is the first one I had. Actually, yeah, the first book I had. I did get the Colour in Heaven magazine first, though. So this is Hawaiian Volcano Fairy. Um, I think this is probably a recent-ish picture I did in this one, as in maybe I did it within the last year. I'm a bit sad because I use polychromos pencils and they really just look so dull on this paper, like... Basically, I'm never using polychromos in her books again. <laughs> I think they work very well in her books. 
Um, so there's that one. I've done this one of these little ones. This is like one of the first ones I think I kind of did in here. Um, and it's a little fairy, I think the rose fairy, yeah. I quite like that she's got like little ones in her books. Oh, don't miss any. Um, doo -doo -doo. There's one there. So this is Amara and the book. And she has got stickles on her flowers. So again, I wouldn't do her, how I've done her hair. I wouldn't do black hair like that. Uh, that's not how I would do it anymore. Um, and like, I don't thought that I did, did this one a few years ago. So it's quite interesting to see that, you know, I have changed like a bit. And I, cause I don't feel like I've changed loads and loads over the last few years, but I clearly am getting better in like certain areas, which is quite nice. And then I've got this Sanura, which is an Egyptian one um, with her little Egyptian cat, which I feel like I probably should have made look black, but I think I maybe looked up maybe what the cats look like. I don't know. It's a while, it's been a while. Um, but yeah, like again, I think I, her skin could do with looking a bit more <laughs> shaded, but it's tan skin, I'm not as proficient at tan skin yet. One day I will be. Um, but yeah, I think I just used quite a, like some Derwin ink tents and things for the background and stuff for that one, and then a bit of shiny paint. So that is everything I've done in a fantasy art adventure by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So Next, I have the Halloween book. This, I think was the last book. I well, actually, I did get the Alice one at the same time as this one. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure I was going to get the Halloween book actually, and I did surprisingly, because um, I went to a Halloween Heaven event and she was there. So I think, well, the other book was signed by her. My, I think I bought this after I got her to sign my book. <laughs> Uh, it's funny because I didn't really, I mean, I liked her pictures, I just wasn't into her style at first and wanted to have things, you know. So I said, this is the first picture I did, um, and I used some of that skin tutorial to help me with her skin that we learned. And I really like how this one came out, like her hair looks really cool. Um, of course I had to put some stickles on the candy corn. I think I've had a candy corn once, I don't think I liked it. I think I found it tasted really like rub plasticky yeah i don't think i liked it <laughs> i think i tried some when i lived in canada because i was there for halloween um and then this was a buddy color with the beautiful kp covers um so yeah i think i did this one the last year and of course there's like lots of stickers in that one and i know what i have done Oh, here we go. And they did this for Dia, Dia, Dia Les Muertes. I always like trying to say it in, in Spanish. Probably don't pronounce that right either. <laughs> they of the dead. Um, and yeah, it was really fun. I loved like doing, making this, but like um, one of how they paint their faces. It was really fun. I mean, she did have like a pattern and stuff on her face, I think, but I kind of painted over some of it. But yeah, it was really fun. I did enjoy doing that one. Um, so that's everything from the Halloween one. Next I've got Mermaids. Um, I haven't coloured anything new in this one. Um, I, I'm supposed to do a buddy colour in here, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I just haven't felt in the mood. Um, so this was the first one I did, which is a seashell princess. And she has, of course, a lot of stickles and some metallic paint. You can tell skin is not amazing. But, you know, it's fine. My skin is getting better. And then this is a buddy colour with uh, KP. And I really wanted her to look really grey. And literally, like, she was kind of deathly, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, I quite like how it came out. I did gold, dark goldfish, like black goldfish, which was quite cool. I liked her version that she did of this as well. It was really good. I think that's all I've done in the mermaid one. Yeah, just those two. Next up, Alice. That one is really bad. I have literally just still only done one, <laughs> which I did last year. Um, I think this, yeah, this one's signed. So there we go. I've got a signed one. I've got two signed by her. Um, and oh, there it is. There it is. It's this one, which I outlined everything in Posca. So I really do like 
this one and you can tell you can tell the difference of the skin in this one <laughs> to the um other picture the, the mermaid one that i showed you it looks so much better so um yeah there's that one then i have been really bad and have never come back to flowers and gems by grazia salvo i've only done one in this one and i feel really bad because there's lots of beautiful pictures but just haven't really felt i think i think it's because i don't always want to color somebody like you know the a portrait pictures i suppose um, so this is the only one I've done, and it's it's just basically that one, I think, that fancy to it. Just that one. And now, lastly, I'm going to show you what I've done in the Colouring Heaven magazines. I have four magazines, one of which I kind of forgot I even had. Um, and these are, oh, there's four of them I've not coloured in, basically. And I've had them for ages, and I feel so bad, I'm like, oh my goodness. So I don't really buy the magazines anymore, unless I see like there's something I really must have um I tend to not because I just think I'm never going to get around to coming as much as the designs are generally really beautiful I just think half the time I'm not going to get around so this is the Kanoko Gusa special but actually a lot of these pictures are all in her new book so um that's probably why I've not come back to this because I've got them in her new book um but they these are like bigger versions of them so I probably will you know just keep this as if as if I want to do it again type thing. So I did this Easter one around Easter, like a year and a half ago, I think. Um, so yeah, there's that one. I did get the Steampunk special, the Hannah Lynn Steampunk special, because she had new designs that weren't in her Steambook book. Um, so it has all of the same pictures from the Steambunk, Steampunk book, plus uh, 15 new designs, as you can see in the little circle thing there. So, of course, I wanted the 15 new designs, so I bought this. And this is the only one I've done. And this will be one of the ones I think that is not in the book. So, I'm primarily going to be focusing on those 15 that I've not done. So, I've done this lady here. Um, then I have the Strange and Special, which is the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Special. I got this before I got the Jasmine Beckett Griffith books because I wasn't sure if I liked them. And I think actually, Melody, she bought me the fantasy one the first one she got me that one so that's then how i kind of got into it i don't maybe she got me the mermaid one as well i can't remember she might have got me two of them maybe can't remember you see so i've done one in here because then i got the books so then i'm like oh i kind of want to do the pictures in the books so obviously now i've now got spare coffees i did this one and i think i made it look kind of a bit like her painting that she had. I think I looked up her painting and yeah, I really love how it came out. Obviously, I feel like I could do a bit better on the skin. I mean, the skin's not terrible, but like I would probably, that's the one area that I probably would, you know, do change. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed doing this one. I put stickles on her tights and on the bats. So yeah, it was really fun. I really like that one and I love how it looks. It looks really good. And then I got Woodland Fairy Special by Christine Karen. Now, I, I could get her books, but I just think, actually, you know what, I'm quite happy with just selection in this magazine because, again, I can't have them all. So I've done this one. I think I've done two in here. I've done the Ivy Fairy. And I really like the colour I chose to do her skin, her, her hair and her eyes and things. Um, Maybe I'll use polychromos maybe for that. Not quite sure. Again, I do feel like I need to work on the skin more um obviously you have like it's gray scale so that kind of helps you know where the shadows and things are in this and her one her drawings anyway um but yeah i feel like maybe do that one a bit better mm, i'm pretty sure i have another one in here can i find it so i'm gonna have to take it off because athena kind of sat behind me ah yeah there we go so i did i think this was the first one i did from it I did the pine tree fairy um and I may have used the uh, Koei Nors again for this one I think because they had skin tone colours actually I don't think her skin's that bad it's still room for improvement but it's not it's not that bad so there we go I even did the background in pencil aren't I crazy I don't normally do that <laughs> in my old books I have done loads of pencil backgrounds okay and the last one to show you is the Fairies and Friends special, and I really want to do another one in here, actually, because I actually really like 
the pictures in this book. So, oh, there we go. Nice and easy. Um, so I have done this one. It says Fairy Friends. Um, and all her wings are very stickled up. Um, so there's that one. And then I have also done the Forest Fiery Fairy as well. And she, again, she's got stickles and everything on there. Um, so that is everything to show you from part one of everything I've ever coloured. I think I can do three parts because I have done most of a bottom shelf. I've just got a couple, well, probably like maybe 15 books left on that one. They're mostly handling ones. And then I've got quite a big chunk in the middle. And most of those big chunk in the middle books will be books I've done quite a few pictures in. Not all of them will have like tons of pictures done in them, but some of them are more likely to have like, you know, six, between six to 10 in most of the books. So that will take me longer to show you because I'll have more pictures to show you in the book. So I that's why I thought I could probably split it into three parts. Maybe, we'll see how we go. I may find I can just do, do two parts, but I feel like three parts is probably what they'll be doing. And I think that's quite manageable. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If I know it's a bit like I probably should say this at the beginning, but if you ever just want to like, you know, pay fast forward the video, speed it up, mute me, <laughs> so you don't hear me talking. I also don't mind to watch however you feel. Um, and I will see you next time and hope everybody is safe and fine and enjoying your day. Bye bye.